evening everybody, my name is Alex Taylor, I'm the Vice Chairman of a Charitable Trust which runs Caldwell Live TV um, and this is part of a series of programmes where we try and interview local people doing their local uh, local things for the local area which is obviously Calderdale. Um and today I'm lucky enough to be talking to Brian Keenland who is a local poet who lives here in Rippenden uh, with his lovely cats um, and he's written this this autobiography um, called Pockets of Resistance and it's a poetry autobiography it's not like yes. an autobiography where it's set into years or anything like that now I'll just show it to the camera so you can all see what it is it's a great book um, Thank you. so Brian would you tell me or can you tell me rather yeah. how did you come to start the book um, and where where's it all come from basically I um, remember I was going to um, visit my mum on the estate where I grew up, which is the Deaton Sheep Bridge Estate. Okay. Um, which is in Huddersfield. Which is in Huddersfield, yeah. yeah. And um, I was just, I suppose I was just reminiscing, um, driving around the area, and I was looking at, um, you know, you remember all the little, yeah, yeah, all those, yeah, those sure, yeah. memories of the books yeah. uh, from your childhood. And um, I remember just coming home, and my wife, Antonia, was at work, she'd gone to work that, you know, that night. Yeah. And it just all of a sudden just brought back memories right. and I suppose in that night it just came out in a flood and right, okay. I wrote um, 14, um, 14 poems that poems night, that night right. yeah which is very very prolific yeah yeah um, I mean are you usually that prolific or would you yes no I'm, I'm really sort of prolific flare, yeah, but, yeah, yeah yeah you get an idea and it sticks yeah. in the mind it's just, and it just, just images and the words right, just okay. So you try and happen. fit the words to the images of your memories um, or, were, whatever, or inspiration. Well, I, the words just automatically happen. Okay. It's just, it's just, I just see things as images, um, right. and the words just happen on the paper just there and then instantaneously. So they just the start and the end. Right. Um, right okay. you know, and it's, so, so I guess, I mean, I guess it's, it's, what is it about forty poems in um, there? For, in yeah, there? forty yeah. poems in there. And, and I've, yeah. I've read it all myself, and, and it and it's. It's a fantastic read, oh, thank you. Um, and it's the thing about it is that that it it evokes memories that we can all put our own images on. Yeah. So in other words, um, you know, there's there's a, a poem in here about uh, which which we'll get you to read yeah. uh, after this um, about uh, playing around the railway lines. Yeah. Which yeah. which if you're nearing middle age, which <laughs> me and you are, but if you weren't uh, yeah. near middle age, that. <laughs> That you would, um, you we used to do that. You know, you put your Definitely, ten pence yes. piece or your penny, even, yeah. um, or your half a penny, even <laughs> on the on the railway track, and you got this wonderful flattened piece of bronze and copper <laughs> yeah, whatever they yeah. are. And, um, and it and for me, I read that poem about that particular or events similar to that, and yeah. then I thought, oh yeah, I remember doing that, and, and then you would, you know, <laughs> we used to play out and you know play out with your friends and on your bikes and what have you and, and you know you, you, it leads you on to another one and another yeah. one and, and is that how this came together you know at least yeah, you're another event definitely around. yeah so um, like I say it's just it is just a jumble of memories there's, there's no particular order to um, you know from the beginning to the end they just right. it is just a jumble of memories right. and it just triggers different ones and it, it, you know you, you just put them down yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it works so well. It works so yeah. so well. And, yeah. You know, um, in many ways, it's better than a diary because it allows the reader to put put their own images onto your words. Yeah. Because um, it inspires images from his childhood, um, which which I guess is the effect. Yeah, wanted. definitely. Um, yeah, I want to no, so, like you say, It's nice that people can recall their own memories. All right. Uh, so how do you go about writing then? Do you just write um, on a piece of paper? Do you write in a diary? Do you I, work I process? I've, all sorts of different ways, really. Um, like, um, you know, I can write. I write on the paper. Whatever right. image comes into my head, right. the words happen. Or I'll just um, the way I observe right. um, things. I, I notice every little detail of um, life. Um, yeah, some of them are very detailed. Yeah, actually. yeah. 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 Um, and, yeah. And obviously that just comes out. Or I'll I'll utilize music, which I do quite a lot. Right. Um, and you know, like musical scores. And just for okay. the fact that it, it gets emotion out of me, but it also yeah. triggers um. Um, a concept, right. and you know, it gets the emotive content then into, I suppose, that image and the words itself. I see. I see. So, so each poem in here, would it? Would you just write a poem and then would you move along? So, so for example, you've got a couple of poems in here. Yeah. that uh, I mean, uh, unannounced visit is yeah. what, five or six lines long. Yeah. 
so you'd write that down you write your five six you know you you write your five six lines and then you say right that's that one done and move on to the next one i just well i mean or, the or words do you do much editing or no i never ever um very rare that I change um any of the poems they are what they are right so each point, each point is one take in effect. yeah 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 right. i never tend to um, um rewrite anything right um but the words i never kind of you know you look at a length of a um the words and never do the words first it's right. the image it's always got to have an image because in the end the words just start and the end so even if it ends up being four lines it ends up being six lines whatever the image is the words seem to run with that right I so see, yeah it just yeah. formulates like that with yeah. on the paper and i guess when we said earlier i guess that, that one one memory certainly led to another memory yeah. Um, and I, f I found myself, I found myself doing that yeah. in the way that you know you, you read about one particular story, and you think, oh yeah, I can relate to that because yeah. I did a similar thing in Silver Bridge, whatever it might be. Um, and then you know you you turn a page and you think, oh god, yeah, actually, oh yeah, I remember us doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It um, seems to have had that effect on um, um, a lot of people, and, and I suppose even if people don't grow up, I suppose in the same way, or yeah, yeah I'm a grown up one in the same. Or, People have always got um, memories yes, of the childhood, yeah, no, no yeah. matter what they are. They, yeah, you know. They, I think most of the like images locked in his mind that we definitely, that, yeah, uh, that few of us seldom write down. Yes, um, yeah. or certainly keep a diary or anything yeah. like that. Um, I think you've done a remarkable job of, of bringing their memories back to life. Yeah, you know, yeah. Over such a short period as well. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, to write 14 poems yeah in, in what was it 48 hours in just yeah. the, the poems happened that just that night the 14 well, poems that night yeah. um, and over I think two to three days um, the whole the whole book was written book was two. complete yeah wow. I am I suppose That's really very, prolific very very prolific yeah, yeah. I'm really I mean, are, you, are you normally prolific oh, yeah I'm just... always prolific as soon as I think what it is as soon as I've got a concept right whether it's a um, the concept just you know it just happens whether it's sh a short concept or practically the concept for a book but I'm just constantly prolific mm -hmm. on whatever it is right. you know the oh, concept wow. is really oh, it's you know. a very impressive piece of it I'm just going to show the book again to the camera because I want to talk to Brian about this yeah. uh, interesting photograph let <laughs> me show you that, that there so now Brian told me before we started filming that um, this is a picture of him and his family and which yeah. one are you Brian? Um, I'm the one here right. um, on the very end with a little um, knobbly knees okay. yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> and next to me is my uh, brother Michael and then next to Michael is my sister Teresa and the little one here is my other sister Anne right. um, and the poems in the book obviously relate to you for uh, yes as a I suppose as a family unit growing up right. on that particular estate really right. so, uh, but okay. it's, it's, it also I suppose touches upon um, you know, because you look at the image and it all seems yeah. um, well, it, it, a nice, happy family, but it behind also, it, 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 yeah, um, yeah, it, it masks, I suppose, um, quite, some quite troubling times. Yeah, um, the disintegration eventually of a family right. and how you fragment away from yeah, each other. You don't, you don't all back in some of the points, do you? you quite, no, not but graphic, suppose, but no, quite, uh, quite frank. Yeah. Really, uh, thing is, I'm I never shy away from difficult subjects, whether it's death. Or I just don't, yeah. I, yeah. you know, I'll touch on any subject going. I don't I mean, from I mean, the, the, the picture on the front, um, it, I mean, it could be anybody's family. <laughs> I don't mean that derogatory. No, no, no. It could be anybody's family any, on any summer holiday yeah. in the in the seventies. Um, and I, and just 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 for the benefit of the camera, that's actually Scarborough. So no, we haven't got a beach in Calderdale. Obviously. No, no, no. Um, but yeah, they, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure somewhere in my loft there'll be a picture like that yeah, of me yeah. in Scarborough. Well, it was, um, it was, it was wonderful because um, my mum had the old image, yeah, and we just thought it was a wonderful um, image to use. Yeah, and just and so just the fact when you look at the image, how it just captures that. <laughs> it does. It does. You know that. It's I suppose because we saw you. At that time, that innocence yeah. of a, you yeah. know, as a, as a family unit. It's that first picture you have taken at the seaside. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, yeah. And, Until it eventually, I suppose, then you all develop differently growing up. Yeah, you so do. Um, yeah, you do. yeah, yeah. You all started off together. Yes, definitely. And grow, we have some wonderful uh, memories, you know, growing up together. Yeah. Um, and it's just, 
it's just wonderful to be able to um, remember those moments together. Yeah. You know, yeah, whether good it's and bad. Oh yeah, good yeah, the good so, and bad. I mean, obviously, like, there's some troubling um, yeah. stuff in there, but I don't kind of look back on things and think, you know, things happen in the end, and I just I always try yeah. to take the positive uh, yeah. look in life. Sure, I'm, I'm yeah. always a really positive and yeah. You know, happy well, person. I mean, that comes through as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's just. You know that definitely comes through as well, yeah. it? but you know it, it's sort of a uh, it sort of swings uh, sort of between the, the sort of the we'll say edgy is probably not yeah. the right term, but sort of edgy oh, okay. um, sort of the edgy side of the of your childhood. Yeah. Um, over to the you know some nice stuff in here as well. Yeah, you know? I think yeah. it just touches on, I suppose, realities of family life. Yeah. In the end, I mean, and, and be, through the eyes of an innocent know. child, even though I suppose yeah. it was wrote, I suppose you know from yeah. um, an adult, you know me now, but um, it, it still retains that innocent sort of child that see yeah. through his eyes. Well, has it been a? I mean, has it been a um, a good trip down memory lane? A yeah, bad trip down memory lane? Um, no, no, because like I say, me, no, it's been a wonderful trip down memory lane. Right. Um, I suppose the only thing I do, um, kind of find difficult is the fact that you're not close as a family um, yeah. now and yeah, I mean, you're not you're not you're not that sort not of like a, like no, not like you see yeah. a lot of I suppose you look at other families and, and they're really close um, yeah. it seems to be missing that right um, but right. in but the that's, end that's the way it works out yeah, yeah, yeah for in sure, the end yeah. that's the way it works out and yeah. but we're back in I'm, you know I'm back in contact with them and right um, so it's, it's, is that has that come through this then yeah yeah right. definitely yeah oh, which has been um, I suppose a Really, touching. So uh, I guess anyway, it's been. Um, I say I guess I, I, I know that it, it will have been a um, an enlightening experience oh, yeah. in the way that you, you've you've sort of drawn your family back together a little bit via yeah. via this book, yeah. by the memories in this book. Yeah. Um, you know, and I would I would urge anybody um, to read to read through it for for that reason alone. That it's yeah. it's put a, help put a family back. Really it definitely has, so it's kind. Of, yeah, I suppose that disintegration has eventually brought right. us back again. Yeah, which is um, a, a really nice. Um, yeah, I suppose story. In the end, it's so another thing I'd like to um, ask you about the book is um, it's called Pockets of Resistance. Yeah. So, so that's oh, go on then. Where, Where's <laughs> that title come from? Um, the Pockets of Resistance was um, how people looking on estates and how they have you know assumptions about people who grew up on the estates um, you know I used to get branded a lot of names when I was growing up you know whether they called you tramps whether they called you you know get back to your friends and various yes. things it's kind of yeah. you have some, a lot some of words, um, some, some of the words, words we could not possibly say on here thrown, yeah, yeah, yeah thrown yeah. you know your way and surprisingly by people you wouldn't um, think of coming yeah. on yeah. you know things like that but I always think well it's always by people who've actually never grown up like that. Yeah. You know, um, they've got no really idea. Yeah, ignorance of the. Yeah, it is just yeah. Ign ignorance. Yeah, and yeah. but you, but estates also for me are wonderful places. Yeah. You know, it, it's just that community, which mm. you don't seem to get. I, I miss that community. Right. Um, and it's you know how people you all seem to know each other. Yeah, yeah, wonderful friends. Everyone knows each other's business. Yeah, well, yeah, which, which certainly, can be good yeah, and bad, yeah. And people and bad, remember, yeah. I suppose, things about you or your family, and yeah, whatever. And people watch out for you. Yeah, and yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah. I suppose when you look at your friends, you you were never left behind. No. Um, and I just had some absolutely yeah. wonderful memories yeah. growing up. Yeah. And you should just explore every little nook and cranny of oh, our estate. Oh, you did. Which I, you did. Which I love. Yeah. I, I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, in Southern Bridge for me, it was exploring the old mills. Yeah, yeah. You know, which of course now most of them are now either derelict, yeah. gone. Yeah. Or uh, some flats, which is fine because at least they've been used as buildings. Yes. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I get where you're coming from with that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. I just, I just, but, you know, um, it's all, it is a wonderful look on estates mm. um, because I think it also, when you look at the people that grew up in those, um, circumstances it, it seems to breed um, a resilience mm. in the people sure. um, and it also seems to you know whether it's well that old fashioned to assault the earth people it, it is yeah, yeah. certainly yeah. Yeah. Um, you know 
they seem to have a, I suppose, <laughs> a rebellious side, whether it's against yeah. authority or... Yeah. But, it, but it's an interesting look as well, because you look at the education in a lot of the estates, um, and you look at the crime, you see how people go one way, your friends, and you see how, you know, the people mm. go another way. Mm. Um, it's There's just so much involved in an estate, yeah. and this is why, yeah. unless you grew up there, I find it really difficult how people have comments. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people, you know, they've... A lot of people have either been inside, some of people have passed away, yeah, um, you know, through troubling things of their own. Um, but then you yeah. see a lot of really good on estates as well. Yeah, you know, you do. find a lot of creativity in estates. Yeah. Um, and our people are, like you say, salt of the earth people, they're really genuine and they always mm. want to help you. Mm. Um, so it's, I just find it a, a you, fascinating looking on estates. You, you covered a lot of that in this book. Yeah, and I just think they're not letters in the yeah. end. Um, no, they're not, they're not they're slums not to be sealed all. off, um, not all. Not all. you know. Because in the end, that's what would you. That's yeah. is what you'd create. Of yeah. resistance. It is, yeah. Um, it is. So, well, thank, thanks for that. Yeah. Um, and what, well, one thing we should do is hopefully tempt the viewer yeah. uh, into buying this uh, wonderful uh, memoir book. Um, it's just fabulous. Yeah. Well, thank you. So. Obviously, for the benefit of plugging, which we need to do on this TV channel, is there's the book. Um, where do we buy it from? Um, you can buy it from us directly from the Impotential Starts. Right, uh, I'll, I'll, just I'll got put a link up for that at the end of the video. Yeah, uh, we just got um, a print run um, for that, which was at Christmas time. But we, right. but we've also got to um, eventually put it on um, Kindle. Right. Um, and put a shop system on because because we were right. just so busy. So, so it'll be a digital book as well. It will so be a digital book as well. I, yeah. I guess you'll be able to download that. Yes. For the Kindle, for yeah. the uh, yeah, all the different formats, yeah, and mobile different phones, yeah, mobile phones, yeah. and everything like that. And it's so. just retails for six pound, which is I think oh, quite. A, uh, uh, in our part of the world, where we've all got <laughs> short arms and deep pockets, uh, this is a this is a, yeah. a a bargain to be had, people. Yeah. Yeah. You must buy it. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, and also if you, um, I think the Calderdale, yeah, the Calderdale libraries have also um, um, purchased copies. Have they? Yeah. Wow. So you can oh, find it in the libraries right. as well, which is, I must admit, it's, it's supposed for me is really humbling. Yeah. Because um, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm just a, you know, genuine yeah. guy, and I find it really humbling. Yeah. I'm always, yeah. you know, yeah, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, it must, it, be, must be a nice little ambition film. It, it is, yeah. 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 It is. It must be. It must be so. Mm -hmm.